The consigner and vendor login allows your consigners or vendors access to their own personal info and inventory. You can allow them the ability to log in by adding an email address, username, and password to their account. This will create the consigner login, where consigners would just be able to view their own account and update personal info like email and password, but not edit or add any items. If you toggle on the Is Vendor Toggle button, you will grant them the ability to add and price their own items. Vendor Access also allows them to print their own labels, but they would need the required labels and label printer. When setting up the consigner login, keep in mind that the password only needs to be 8 characters long. So you can create a simple password for your consigners or vendors to use for the first time they log in, then they can update their password in the Accounts tab. You cannot add any spaces to the username fields, and it is not case sensitive. We also know sometimes consigners or vendors may get confused and try to use their email address to log in rather than the username you created for them. The software does require you to create a username, but it does allow them to log in using either their username or email address. Now, if you are creating a brand new account while setting up the consigner or vendor login, meaning you're adding in their username, password, and email at the point of creation, then an email will automatically be emailed to the consigner or to the vendor with their login credentials. This email will provide the store's login URL, their username, and password. If you do not want to use this feature, then you can go to the Preferences section, go to Admin, and turn off the toggle button that says Automatic Consigner Credentials Email. Now, if a vendor or consigner ever forgets their password or forgets where to log in, the store can send them a reset password email at any time. Just click Send Password Reset Email below the Update button in the consigner's account. Consigners or vendors can log into their account by going to your store's URL and adding in their username and password. But they also do have the option of going to ricoconsign.com slash live to log in to their account. The reason is sometimes consigners and vendors forget the store's URL and try to search for it within a web browser. Store URLs are unlisted when searching online but customers or vendors can use their login URL to log into their store account. If they go to ricoconsign.com login, they would start out by adding in the store name. This is everything that shows in your store URL that comes before the .ricoconsign.com. Then if that gets entered correctly, they will go to the next screen that will ask them for their username and password. Now once a consigner or vendor logs in, they're going to see their Accounts Details tab, Inventory tab, Payout, Payout History, and Purchase History. The vendors will see the New Item and the Print Labels button. When a vendor goes to add an item, they will have access to the entire Add Item screen, except for the ability to adjust their commission split or utilize the Net feature. If you're using the Ricochet Web Store, then the consigner and vendor login will be wrapped into the site itself, offering a little bit more store branding in the login experience. They also can shop your entire online inventory, and if they have consigner credit or store credit, they can use those towards online purchases.